My name is Stella Greenhill and I'm in 11th grade. This year I'm taking AP Studio Art. The way AP Studio Art works is that you do two different portfolios. The first half is your breadth, which is just generally art you've made over the year, exploring different mediums, kind of whatever goes. The second half is the concentration, where you pick a theme and you make 12 pieces based solely around what you pick. The goal for my portfolio is to try and show these in a more approachable light, as well as a way that most people can understand visually. For example, my hoarding art that I did looks very much like hoarding. It's distinct, it's recognizable, but also the techniques I used I tried to match to the ailment I was talking about. So for hoarding, I did a lot of ink work because it shows like precision and control. This is shown again whenever I did my pyromania piece, where I used ink because they want to try and have control, but then I also used watercolor to show that they don't really have the control that they are looking for. For hallucinations, I did something similar where I took a photograph and then altered it to show how the normal becomes altered whenever you're in that kind of state of mind. My interest in this topic originally sparked about a year ago whenever I signed up to do a summer camp where I'd be assisting people with physical or developmental disabilities. The week that I was there in residence, I learned quite a bit about this topic, and then whenever I came back into school, I spent a lot of my time researching and looking more into this, and my interest just grew from there. So that's just a quick overview of a couple of things I'm doing, and I'm hoping that it helps to get rid of some of the taboo around this subject.